What is up guys, Dawn 7 here bringing you a brand new Halo MCC challenge guide. Today we're taking a look at the new Halo 4 seasonal challenge, Night Night Sleep Tight, which is to defeat 500 enemies with 400 weapons in any game mode on normal difficulty or harder, and Promethean Fire, which is to defeat 1000 enemies with 400 weapons in any game mode on normal difficulty or harder. The weapons available for this are the Sentinel Beam from Halo 2 and 3, and all of the Promethean weapons from Halo 4. To complete this challenge, you're going to go into your customization settings, go down to Halo 4's customization, scroll over to your loadout, and create a loadout that has the light rifle and suppressor. To get both these primary weapons on one loadout, you will need to have a tactical package of firepower. For the support upgrade, I like to use ammo to give myself some extra ammo when you start off and respawn. Um, the armor ability I would recommend for this is either going to be the hard light shield or regen field and give yourself some pulse grenades as the grenades since we're just using Promethean weapons here to get our kills. We're going into Halo Force campaign into Sparnops. We're using Episode 2 Artifact, Chapter 5 Gargarin as this level will only spawn in Promethean enemies, making it easier for you to replenish the ammo on your Promethean weapons. And there is a crazy amount of Promethean ammo all across this level. This level reminds me a lot of levels from Halo Reach's Firefight, like Courtyard or Corvette, where it's a, you know, a atrium-like level, pretty much. Um, there's not really much to say about the level design itself, but it makes it really easy for a challenge like this, where you're just killing many amounts of enemies using a certain type of weapon. Since we don't have actual firefight in Halo 4, this level pretty much is the closest we get to a Promethean firefight, with a few minor objectives that are thrown out through this level, like go to here, activate this console, etc, etc. But with this, you get about 126 kills, I believe, if none of the Promethean Watchers revive any knights. If they do revive knights, obviously you will get extra kills for that by killing the same knight over and over again. But I believe there is a limit to how many times a watcher can revive a knight, so take that into consideration if you're going to try and cheese the system like that. For the 1000 kills overall, you will need to complete about 9-10 to 10 games of Sparnops to get that challenge completed, which will also give you work towards the other Halo 4 seasonal challenges of teaser trailer, theatrical release, and bonus feature, which I will hopefully be reviewing later tonight. But this challenge is actually very easy to complete. Honestly, the reason I'm using the suppressor here against everything is because all of the enemies drop suppressors. There is extra light rifle ammo around the map, and there are some enemies, I will warn you, that do use the binary rifle. A few of them are the crawlers that you'll see in the later waves. Um, also with that, there are a few scattershot Promethean Knights and one Knight Bannerman that has the incineration cannon. So do be careful about that, though there is a large quantity of scattershot ammo actually around this map in some of these crates. Especially if you're going back to that back area where you had to start initially, or you go to initially to activate the console. There is multiple scattershot crates there, there's also a light rifle crate um, as well. And to my left, there is actually an incineration cannon crate as well, but I don't think you saw me in the video actually pick up the incineration cannon. But do know it is there, and it's very useful for ganging up on a lot of the Promethean Knights like I just did there a second ago. But yeah, I didn't realize how um, actually overpowered the suppressor can be in normal difficulty against Promethean Knights. I mean, like half a clip will just rinse an entire knight as long as there is no um, watchers protecting them. So definitely use the suppressor is my recommendation. I like to use the light rifle though against the crawlers, especially at long range, and use the light rifle against the watchers. Also take advantage of pulse grenades to stun the Promethean Knights, etc. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you right here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, if you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, so I know you did. I hope this helped out with getting your 1,000 kills with using Promethean weapons. Remember, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, so I know you did. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.